today video fit solutions is reviewing the grand canyon a beautiful yet deadly place every year visitors visit the north and south rim of the grand canyon for its beauty and nature while others have found other ways to use the canyon either by suicide accidental falling or by simply hiking into the canyon never to be seen again if you or anyone else is feeling depressed please have them call 988 from their cell phone the greatest loss of life occurred in 1956 at the grand canyon when two aircraft collided killing all 128 aboard on both aircraft making it the worst of its kind for that time As horrible as this tragedy was, it was not the first time. In fact, there have been hundreds of incidents at the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon National Park in northern Arizona encompasses 278 miles of the Colorado River and adjacent uplands. It is known for having two rims, the North and South Rim. In early 2016, a California man was driving down East Desert Drive and decided to drive off of the curve and onto the embankment, plunging both himself and his vehicle more than 1,000 feet down into the valley below. Even to this day, remnants of the accident can be seen strewn about more than 1,000 feet below in the valley. Even the car itself is still there. And the reason is, it's because it would have been too expensive to try to retrieve it, not to mention the dangers to any experienced helicopter pilot trying to retrieve such a vehicle. While drive offs like these have happened a dozen times over many years, there's one notable case, and here it is. In early 2006, a distraught man drove his vehicle behind the El Cacino Lodge and up over the embankment, while horrified onlookers watched as he drove right off the side of the cliff. The blue vehicle that Georgi Shiryov drove off the cliff, it's still there. However, several years later, it was airlifted out of the area due to safety reasons. In June of 2004, Richard Clam, a tourist, was traveling with others in a helicopter and decided at 4,000 feet to open the door and climb out and jump to his death, all in front of horrified passengers and as the pilot attempted to stop him. While there have been numerous incidences of suicides and accidental fallings, there have been other cases of people simply hiking into the canyon, never to be seen again. As such may be the case of Drake Kramer, a biology student from Texas who went missing and was last seen checking out of Bright Angel Lodge in February of 2015. The last communication known was an eerie text where he sent to his family stating that he needed to be back with Mother Earth. Despite extensive searches, his body was never found. The Grand Canyon is a beautiful, massive marvel. However, it has many miles of trails and many have gone missing, never to be seen again. In July of 2004, Margaret Bradley, an experienced Boston Marathon runner, died of heat exhaustion while trying to hike through the canyon. It turns out that she and a companion were trying to hike during an extremely hot time of season, proving that even the most seasoned hikers can fall victim to the perils of the Grand Canyon. In June of 2015, raft guide Morgan Heimer disappeared after walking away from his group. Ironically, one year later, another hiker, Floyd Roberts, went missing as well. And just four months earlier, another hiker, 
Diana Zacharias went missing. Aside from predators and just the sheer fact of falling off the cliff, heat exhaustion is one of the main killers. Every year thousands of visitors visit the north and south rim of the Grand Canyon for its spectacular views, spectacular selfie shots, and just a beautiful view of nature. To date, there have been an astonishing 800 deaths or disappearances at the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Thousands of visitors come there each year to take photos, videos, and to enjoy the natural beauty. But every now and then you get some tourists that decide they want to take chances with their lives. This man is standing at least a thousand to two thousand feet above the valley below. One wrong move and it's game over for him. This is not recommended for anyone to try. It's extremely dangerous and extremely careless. Wait for the moment. One could only imagine what makes people want to do these type of things. Rest in peace to all of the victims and please like, share, and subscribe to Where in the World is Frank and Gina on YouTube. And remember, when visiting the Grand Canyon, stay safe.